Hi, I'm Alastair Black. I'm a professor here at uh, Gislis at the University of Illinois. My specialism is the history of libraries and librarianship and also the history of information management, uh, but before the computer. I'm not a historian of the computer. I was uh, interested in history from my earliest days, as far as I can remember. In terms of uh, libraries, I, again from a very early age, I was fascinated by my local libraries. Um, they were both old and new in terms of their design. Uh, and then again at university. Uh, I, I went to University of London and my college was Queen Mary College and that had uh, a wonderful late 19th century library and the University of London Library which is just behind the British Museum in central London uh, that's a 1930s classical uh, building. The main point about the history of libraries is that libraries historically are not backwater insignificant institutions. They are places that have been arenas of uh, friction and conflict in terms, for example, of social class, of gender, uh, of politics, of race, uh, issues like censorship. Um, these are all tremendously important issues uh, in uh, the history of libraries and librarianship. In terms of in the history of information management, uh, I've done work on the, uh, uh, the history of information management in uh, MI5, which was Britain's premier uh, counter-intelligence agency, uh, which began in 1909. Most recently, I've been um, working on the history of library design, and in particular, uh, the history of public library design. In 2009, uh, I published uh, a book uh, with my good friend Simon Pepper, who's an architectural historian, uh, on the history of public library design um, before the Second World War. And now I'm taking that on to the post-Second World War period, where I'm looking at the history of public library design in Britain in the long 1960s. History is important because it helps us form um, um, an identity. And that's true of professional identity as much as it's true of, uh, of our personal identities. Um, also, any, any discipline, uh, any area of professional expertise, in order to claim that status, uh, that discipline or professional area must be able to summon up a, a history. So uh, history is tremendously important for uh, professional status and, and identity. Uh, history is also um, often the result, often the outgrowth of contemporary events. So what we've seen over the last 50 years uh, is the emergence, as some see it, of an information age. Uh, and that has led scholars to investigate the importance of information uh, historically throughout the ages. Uh, so one can make a case for information being absolutely critical uh, to uh, the major shifts that have occurred uh, in the history of human thinking and organisation. So one can look at information uh, in terms of the emergence of capitalism, uh, in terms of the rise of state, uh, state power, in terms of uh, the scientific revolutions of the Renaissance and the Enlightenment, uh, in, in terms of the, uh, the arrival and the development of industrialization. So we can conceptualize therefore a, a subject called information history. Um, which is undertaken by a variety of historians who don't necessarily uh, view themselves as information historians but who are, um, we would argue, uh, absolutely um, undertaking uh, information history uh, and being involved in that field.